Hi, I'm Letty Teague. Welcome to Wine Dictionary. Today we're going to be talking about Riesling. In Germany, there are some specific regions that are notable for producing the greatest Rieslings. The Mosel, the Rheingau, the Faltz, and the Nai. The, the vineyards are, are perched atop of uh, some very, very steep hillsides. It's a grape that, that's capable of transmitting the actual quality of the soil when you talk about a minerally flinty Riesling. These wines all share similar qualities. And one of its great selling points is just this gorgeous aromas of apricot and pear and peach. And they come billowing out of the glass. It can be bone dry and it can be intensely syrupy sweet. Actually, one of the best ways of telling if a, if a German wine is going to be sweet or dry, if you can't read German, which is probably to say most American wine drinkers, is if you turn the bottle over and check the alcohol level. If the, if the alcohol level is, say, between 7 and 8 percent, that's probably going to be a fairly sweet wine. It's going to be, should we say, off dry. At 12 and a half, that's going to tell you that that, that wine is going to be dry. If you don't know what Trocken means and you don't know what Cabinet means or Spätlese, check the alcohol. One of the great beauties of Riesling is that it doesn't have to be expensive. Herman Weaver has been making Riesling in the Finger Lakes for a few decades. His dry Riesling is his most popular, and I think it's a really good value at, uh, at about $18 a bottle, and a, and a really good example of how good Riesling can be in the Finger Lakes district. Well, Helmut Donoff is, is one of my absolute favorite producers in, in Germany. Um, he's everybody's favorite producer, actually. I think he's been winemaker of the year many times over. He makes wines in the Na. Uh, this is one of the, the great, great Rieslings of the world. It is what will showcase the pristine beauty of this grape like no other. It's not cheap. Um, it's about $85 a bottle. If I save up enough money, I'm going to be buying and drinking this as soon as possible. Riesling is, is tremendously versatile. It can go with uh, creamy dishes, it can go with spicy dishes, it can go with fish, it can go with chicken. And because it can be dry or it can be intensely sweet, it can also go with uh, all manner of desserts. It can go with a, a baked fruit dessert or just by itself. It's one of the reasons why sommeliers love Riesling so much is because of course they're in the business of, of matching food and wine. And because Riesling offers this incredibly wide array of flavor poss possibilities and profiles, it's just one of the great food wines of the world.